In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about how you can add wind into your Roblox experience. So, with wind, you can set a direction and strength in which wind will blow through your experience, and you will notice that any grass, clouds, or particle effects you have in your games will be affected by the wind. Roblox has also added a new wind widget which will help you edit and change wind inside of your game visually, which is super useful if you're just starting out with wind on Roblox. In addition to that, there is a lot more planned to come to wind, so this is just the bare basics of it. First of all, there is a brand new property now inside of Workspace. So if we head over to Workspace, you'll notice that if we search for global wind, there is now a global wind of value. I'm just going to set this to 000 before we get started, as I did test this before in this experience. So let's get started by using the wind widget. If you don't know where the view tab is, just go to the top of your Roblox Studio and right in between test and plugin, you'll see view. Then look for wind direction and select on that. Now from here, we have a little wind sock and a little visual representation. So if you don't know what a wind sock is, you normally see them at airports and they represent how strong the wind is. So in the diagram, in my little wind widget, you can see the blue is representing the wind and the wind sock is going to show us the effects of the wind. So let's simply start by turning up the speed of the wind. And as you can see, as I increase the wind speed, you can see that the wind moves much faster and you can also see that my particles are moving to the right. Now right now I've only set it so that fire is affected by the wind. By default fire is affected by the wind but I'm sure Roblox will add more options to support more particles later on. Now as you can see the more I turn up the speed the more drastic the effect of the wind is. And then again at a thousand speed you can see it's pretty unrealistic and the grass is also going crazy. Then let's go back to a more normal speed where we can still notice the effects of the wind. Next is yaw, and you can imagine yaw as the rotation of the wind. So as you can see, when we move yaw, the blue arrow moves with it. So as you can see, as I drag it, the fire is actually moved around depending on when the wind is blowing. So you can see it's there, or it's over here, and you can also see that the wind also changes directions as this moves. Now finally is the pitch of the wind, and this is where the wind is pointing in elevation. So if we move it up, we're actually making the wind push the particles upwards. However, if we make the pitch point down, as you can see demonstrated by the blue arrow, we can actually get the fire, if we turn up the speed, to go under the ground, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Next of all, is not only just particles and grass that are affected by wind. So let's make this a bit more normal. So a normal pitch would probably be around uh, 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree, or minus 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree. We're going to keep the pitch 50, and we're going to turn down the speed to around 48, maybe even down to 15.5 seems suitable. Now inside of terrain, I'm going to add some clouds. Then I'm going to make these clouds a bit more visible so we can see. And I'm also going to make them a little bit pink so you're able to see them a bit better if you're on a lower end device. Now finally, you can see that not only are the particles and grass affected by the wind, and when we turn up the speeds, the clouds are also affected by these changes. They're also affected by the yaw. However, they're not really affected by the pitch. All the change is just too difficult to notice. Finally, let's change this to a more steady configuration and I'm going to create a script inside of Service Script Service and I'm going to randomly, every 5 seconds, change the wind speed. So let's say workspace.globalwind equals vector3.new and normally you'd pass your value, for example 10, 5, 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do math.random and I'm going to say 100 and then I'm going to repeat this 3 times. And this is going to randomly change the wind every time. In fact, we can even go ahead and test this inside of our game right now. You'll also notice that when you're playing in your game, you'll be able to hear the wind. So when the wind speed is very high, you're going to be able to hear the effects of the wind on not only the particles, but also the wind blowing in all the grass. So right now, every 3 or 5 seconds, what was it again? 5 seconds. The wind is randomly changed and you can see this effect taking place by how the fire moves. So I really hope this tutorial helped you out today and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, 
If you have any problems with scripting, don't hesitate to head over to our forms, which is forms.thegoofy.dev, and myself or another great scripter will be helping you. So thank you for coming in, that's all from me, and bye bye <laughs>